Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to start coding this Tetris game. Uh, we are going to start using uh, JavaScript and P5.js for this project. So basically today we are going to try to uh, finish the box for each piece and apply the gravity effect for all the objects in this game. So uh, basically we can start now. So here I have, let me show you, here I have this folder it has the libraries and the index also uh, this project I coded a few days ago so you can find it on github, I will paste the link in the description but we are going to start from scratch in order to see all the things that we need to do for this game so basically, basically we have the libraries are these ones and the index.html file. I'm going to open Firefox and uh, I'm going to search p5.js and search it. Okay, and you need to go to here to download and download this one here it has the, the three files that we need uh, okay we are going to take this and we are going to uh, name a reference for our sketch file and we need to create our sketch file it's basically our main JavaScript file and here, here we are going to uh, code like the controller of the game so we need a function setup. This function is used to create the variables and set them and also to start the game. First of all we need to create a canvas. It's like the screen where we are going to play the game. And we are going to say that it has 600 pixels of width and 600 pixels of height. And also we need a function draw. The draw function is like a loop. Each 60 frames per second it's going to to loop and loop and to restart again so basically we are going to set the background of the screen and we are going to put a 50. <laughs> it's just to see if this is working. So we go here and let's say open with Firefox here's our screen and uh, right now I'm going to create another file I'm going to name it constants.js here we are going to set all the constants that we are going to use so basically here I can put the canvas width it's going to be 600 and I'm going to put the canvas height it's going Sorry, it's going to be 600 as well. And the background color. Const background color. It's 50 for now. And I'm going to replace here the values for the variables. It's important to work this way because if we need to change, we just change it here, and we don't have to search where uh, uh, where in our project is using a 600 for the canvas width and so on. So this way is is better, and you can have a cleaner code as well. So if I refresh, it says there is an error. Okay, canvas width is not defined, and this is because we need to add it here our file constants constants we refresh it and it's working good okay so let's start coding a box a box is the uh, the smaller piece that we can think in this game let's let's search for the three pieces Okay, so we have these ones, 
and as you can see this each piece is made of a small square we are going to make a class that represent those squares we are going to name that class box so it's going to be a, a simple class so let's do it so we create here our box that js and we start using class box the class is a is an a feature for es6 and we're going to use a constructor and we're going to use an x position we're going to set it at zero if we don't receive a parameter the y position zero as well and we are going to say we can use dimension with dimension I'm I'm talking about the height and width of the box and well the good part is these boxes are squares so we can uh, just handle one parameter so we can use um, well, maybe box dimension in order to understand better uh, we can set it um, I don't know like 60 pixels and we need also a color for that uh, for that for, for each box so if we don't receive a color we are going to use the default color with these values we reference the black color so we are going to use that one as default and now we reference each of uh, each attribute with its parameter Okay, and let's do a, sh a show function. This is the function that is going to let us see the box in the canvas. So basically, here we can do this. This is the structuring. So we can use uh, RGNB, sorry, B, and reference color. So using this, and the value of R is going to be here the value of green is going to be here and the value of B is going to be here and well all the colors in p5.js you can do it with these parameters this represents the red the red and the, uh, sorry red green and blue and with these colors you can uh, create all the colors in the palette and let's do a fill the fill function we can uh, search it here we're going to reference and we go to i think it's color okay fill with the fill function you fill and uh, the color that you want to see in the screen so we're going to ask for the values that we are having and then we're going to use rect and uh, rect is a really useful function that allows to draw a, a square or a rectangle in the in our canvas here we can use it so I'm going to copy this in order to and rect and here we are going to use our X position in the canvas then our Y position and we need to use the dimensions that we are using this, this parameter is the width and this is the height okay so with that we can show a box now let's test it also I need here in my index that HTML I need to add the box box.js and 
let's go to the sketch and I'm going to create a box I'm going to set a variable here, let box and I'm going to say my box and here in the setup function I'm going to instantiate a box so I'm going to use new box and I'm going to copy this sorry I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say that I want a box in the middle of the width of the screen and at the middle of the height of the screen and that I want uh, the, the dimensions of the box at 60 pixels and that I want uh, I'm going to put here another color I don't know like 150 48 and 95 I don't know what that color is we're going to see it in a bit and also we are going to uh, show the box so my box dot show let's see if this is working okay as you can see here we have a box of 60 pixels I think 60 is too much let's do it at 30 and here too I'm going to set it at 30 and uh, here is important that we can handle those variables like this in order to use it in a better way I'm going to put it box dimension and I can use it here at box dimension and uh, well uh, here we could have a, a problem because it's called the same so let's call a uh, uh, box dimension we can call it I don't know yeah let's call it box dimension and we are going to set it here We're going to set it here as box D, and here is going to be um, box D. So this that box D is going to be equal to box D, and here we are going to use box D. Okay, and uh, right now let's see if that if that is still working. Okay, so here we have a, a smaller uh, box, and now it's going to be um, fun to apply gravity to this box because, as you can see in Tetris game, the pieces are falling, so we can start coding that effect. And uh, so basically, we need to do uh, a way to apply gravity. A way to apply gravity in books and uh, sorry. In in 2D video game programming is to uh, add uh, val uh, values to the Y position of the object so in that way it can um, see I mean we can see like it is falling and we are updating also the position of the of the object so we're going to use a set interval with this we can say each time that we want do an action so we're going to do we'll use an a lambda expression and we're going to say apply gravity we're going to write this function and also here we can say each timer we're going to set timer here we're going to say that const timer equal um, 1000 uh, 1000 milliseconds so each second is going to apply this function so here I need apply gravity and we are going to write apply gravity so we use let apply gravity and we can use here uh, the lambda expression sorry and 
here we are just going to update the Y position of the piece uh, sorry of the box so we use my box that Y plus equal we can use box dimension so each second is going to fall 30 pixels for uh, each time each second is going to fall 30, pi uh, 30 pixels sorry so we are we are updating the Y position 30 pixels each second so let's see if this is going to work see as you can see the piece is falling the box sorry and uh, but it is really slow <laughs> let's do it uh, each half of second yeah now it looks better okay but I think it is really in the middle of the screen I would like to be around the top of the screen so we are going to use box dimension 36 pixels uh, sorry 30 pixels so it's going to be around here because here is the, ser the, the zero of the screen and 6 is going to be like here let's see if this works I don't know if I save it see? yeah so it is falling in a better way so in this way we apply the gravity to a box and in the next video we are going to start working on the collisions and in the composition of the pieces we need to uh, find a way to do these pieces which are uh, bidimensional arrays of boxes but we're going to find a way uh, to do it in the most optimal way so thanks for watching and please stay tuned bye